Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be filming a sort of tips to know to help you to pass your driving test. I've got my notebook here, I'm ready to go. I've also got my fan on so if you can hear that then I don't know because it is so hot that I need the fan on. So for today's video I've got a couple of tips for whoever is watching if you're trying to learn how to drive and you feel like you need a couple of tips to help you. Now, my driving experience was a stressful time. It took me two years to finally pass um, and I was with two driving schools. So I went from one driving school to the other and I had a bit of a terrible time because the first person I was with basically wanted my dollar and didn't actually teach me how to drive right. So then when I went with my next instructor, they said that I'd basically been taught how to drive wrong, so I had to start from the beginning. So here we are now, I have finally passed, and in September it will be a year. So I feel like I have quite a good experience when it comes to this sort of stuff. So I just have a couple of tips that I feel like might help a couple of people. So if you would like to know what I've got to say on the driving matter, then please just keep watching. Okay, so my first tip is going to be, look around for the perfect instructor. Do you know anyone that has been with them? Has anyone been with them and told you that they're really good and they've passed a lot of people and all that stuff? Do you know anyone at all that's been with them? Your close friends, someone in your family? Do you see people posting about it on social media? Definitely worth finding out if anyone has been with them because the more people that have and the more people that are like, oh my God, I went with this and driving instructor and they're amazing and they helped me pass, blah, 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 then obviously the better. Also, make sure you can somehow find out their passes and their fails. So what like percentage of people do they have that pass and what percentage of people do they have that fail? Like. If, they're if like the instructor has a pupil, do they know what are their chances of passing? Is it like they pass on their second go most of the time? They normally pass first time, third time? It's always good to find out that. And also just to add to that, make sure you do a bit of research into the driving school also, because the first driving school that I was, that I was with, um, when I finally moved to my new driving school, my new instructor, they told me that the first driving school I'd been with was meant to be quite bad. See, I didn't know certain things that I should have known when, I know what I'm talking about, when looking into this, I only really focused on the amount of people that they had taught in my area. I didn't think about all these other factors as well. So definitely, definitely look into the driving school. Are they any good? What are their rates as a driving school? My second driving school was so much better than my first driving school. I said driving school a lot of times. <laughs> this could be quite a big factor, but probably people don't really think about it as much. But do you think you will prefer a male instructor or a female instructor? Now, this shouldn't matter really because of their gender, but some people probably will feel more comfortable if you're a girl with a woman driving instructor or if you're male with a male driving instructor I don't know why but there's something about that that I think more people would feel more comfortable with someone of the same gender as their driving instructor you might feel more comfortable with like a woman teaching you than a man or a man teaching you than a woman and I think that's very important to know and I definitely think that that depends on the person it depends on you as a person you know what I mean the next tip that I have is get a head start in your car. So like, get a head start in your car. Like, Can you get insurance on your mum or dad's car? Can you buy a car of your own that you eventually would like to have when you pass and learning that? Get a head start in uh, any car. Go out in your mum and dad's car. Go out in your friend's car and just get a head start. Learn what everything is about, how you actually work the car. Get to know all of everything you need on the front. Get used to using the gears and the clutch and the accelerator and all that jazz. Just get behind the wheel and feel what it's like to actually be behind the wheel and drive because when it comes to your first lesson, you're going to save so much time and your instructor's not going to have to sit there to go through everything. This is the clutch, this is the accelerator, this is the gear stick, everything. If you already get in there and really get used to it, you're gonna skip all of that out and that's probably going to save you a couple of lessons as well. And also just on that one, I will definitely say do your theory before you start practically driving because when you do your theory, you basically 
revise for like a driving exam that's basically what it is and you learn so much doing that then you skip out a lot of stuff when it comes to actually driving like all of the signs that you need to know all of the speed limit in different areas it's just going to save you a bit a bit of time to be honest it just will save you so much time you already have a bit of a head start and when it comes to driving you are going to want to save as many lessons as you can so getting a head start is definitely what you need to be doing the next one is keep note of your mistakes and learn from them even if you have to literally write them down you need to start indicating more before turn-ins or something like that every mistake that you make write them down and if your instructor's telling you there's something you need to work on then write them down so you can focus a bit more on that specifically and also do a tiny bit more research if you need to um but i will i will definitely say write down your mistakes and if you have any tests that you failed on write down why you failed i passed my fifth time my first three times was with my first instructor and they basically taught me how to drive wrong so there were three tests that i had that were basically i wasn't even ready for anyway so i wasted three tests then on my fourth test with my new instructor I failed because I let someone out, which I think is ridiculous. Don't give weight to people on your test so you know for next time. And then on my fifth time, I actually passed, which I'm so happy about. But that is just like a whole situation in itself. My whole driving situation was absolutely terrible. If I could get someone done, sue someone, I would love to sue them. Yeah. Another tip is that I would definitely, cons I would definitely recommend doing two hour lessons instead of one hour lessons a week because with two hour lessons obviously they're longer because they're two hours which obviously does mean that they're going to be more money but they're definitely more beneficial than one hour lessons because as soon as you get in the car and start driving to the main place that the area is where your test will actually be held you've probably already wasted like 20 minutes so you've only got 40 minutes left so I consider having two hour lessons because you need as much practice as you can get in like in like a two hour thing with an hour you're just going to start getting into it by the time that you need to start driving home um, and you're, obviously you're going to get more done and i just recommend having two hour lessons i think i was having two hour lessons a week and out in an hour you can't get everything done and two hour lessons is just so much better but i used to have headaches every single lesson because i hated learning how to drive i hated it i used to get headaches every single time I'm so happy that I don't have to learn how to drive again. <laughs> um, two more tips. Patience and consistency is key, is the key to the door. It is so essential. You need to be so patient with learning how to drive because it's not gonna become it's not gonna come overnight. If you think about it, you are literally learning something completely new. It's like when you start a job, you are going from the basics. You don't have any clue about what you're doing. When you literally get in a car, you are confused what do you do what is this what is that how do you do this how do you do that you are literally learning everything from scratch and that is not going to come overnight so you need to be so patient and you need to be consistent in the two years it took me to pass i think i had like a break for like six months and that knocked me back so much so if you are hating learning how to drive and you're getting so fed up of it oh you just want to pass you just want to be driving already you need to be consistent and try not to take any breaks because those are going to knock you down a bit if you take a break for three weeks or a year you're going to get back into it and think oh my god like i've forgotten but it feels a bit weird and it's obviously going to put you back even more just keep up with it and honestly you will do it now the last tip that i have for everyone is I was learning how to drive I was a very nervous driver even when I first passed being in a car by yourself without anyone there is very different to being in a car with someone you are driving and you're not really taking in where you are you're just trying to focus on being safe and not crashing and just doing it right so it's so different to going out by yourself to being with an instructor so I feel like when I learned how to drive because I had a lot of crap and a lot of knockbacks that my anxiety when coming when learning how to drive and all the tests and that really gave me a lot of anxiety my anxiety was sky high so i tried these herbal drops called i called 
There's, it's called Rescue Remedy and I will put a picture up here on the screen for you to see because I don't think I have any. But basically what they are is herbal drops that you take to relax you and to calm your nerves and your anxiety and make you feel de-stressed and just ready to go. You've got your thinking cap on. I started taking them and they were the best thing that I've ever taken because they literally helped me through my last two tests just to get out of being anxious and nervous and stressed out and they're herbal remedies so you can't like have too much in an overdose or anything like that I recommend getting them I brought mine from Savers and I think they were like a 3 .99, but they come in like a little a little, a little glass jar thing with a little dropper and they are honestly really worth the money, they are very good and I also use these as well when my anxiety is getting a bit crap or I'm feeling really nervous if I have like an interview or something coming up then I will always use these little dropper things because they are absolutely amazing and I will leave them in the description down below they are 100% worth it if you struggle with feeling nervous and anxiety they are amazing yeah that's it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it I really wanted to film this video because I had such a crap time when it comes to learn how to drive and if I'd seen videos like this before then just like personal videos like honest videos of how it was learning how to drive then I think I would have been a bit more at ease and a bit more known a bit more a bit more clued up do you know what I mean so I will leave the batch rescue in the description down below please don't forget to subscribe and give the video a massive thumbs up don't forget to follow all my social media links I will leave them here and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye!